Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to actually create um, or convert a Google Doc file or a Word document file into a Google Doc file. So this is how you do it. Now, I assume you know uh, Google Mail. You obviously have to have that to be able to use Google Classroom. Um, but the main step, um, that we, the main place that we have to go to is the Google Drive folder. Now, if you've got Google Chrome open, you can see that on this app drawer, I can go straight to my Google Drive from here. If I've got my email, which I won't show, you'll see the same app drawer. Uh, and again, you'll be able to go to Google Drive. Now, I actually have it open here. Once you've received, or you've um, managed to navigate to this page, Obviously, try to be as organized as you can. As you can see here, I've got in my drive, I've got CBD sessions, Google Classroom training, and I've got a folder just for this kind of uh, uh, stuff. So I've got all my resources here just for Google Classroom training. So click on here on the left hand side, the new button will give me a number of different options. So if I want to make a Google Docs file, which is basically Google's version of Word, I'll go there and I want to go to blank. Now you can go and experiment and use a, you know, use a template. I tend to stay away from that because I, I'm stuck in my ways and I like a particular design myself and I just like creating and changing things as I go along. So in this purpose, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to keep it very simple and just click on blank document. Now, when you open up this uh, document, obviously, it's a brand new blank, uh, blank file, so it doesn't even have a title yet. Now, I'm not going to go to uh, this tutorial. This video is not going to be uh, about the many features in Google Docs because I assume most people will know how to use, it, use this. It's very similar to Word, in, uh, you know, from uh, the Windows Microsoft Office application uh, suite. But you can see them the more tip, you know, the typical features, such so as the font and you know, font size and whether you want it bold, uh, whether the justification uh, tools here, the bullet points and uh, numbered point, uh, bullet points there. Um, so you start off by, you know, creating the document that you want. And if you saw my previous video, you'll see that, you know, I've got a, a title there. So I'm just going to put title here and then you put, um, you go down and maybe use this and you put your first question. second question and third question as I said I'm going to keep it very simple so you'll put those in and obviously there's no space to write in so you'll space it out delete space it out delete and you'll see the numbers stay exactly where they are and obviously you can change uh, and format the the rest of the uh, file as you you know wish now, once you've done that, you give it a sensible name. So I don't know, uh, test, I don't know, something. Now you'll notice just then, this default title I have here actually automatically went there. So if you have a decent, sensible title here, then it will automatically go there the moment you click it. So a little tip right there. Um, and that's basically it. And obviously you can add images and shapes and change colors and whatnot. But once you've done that, it automatically saves. If you've ever used Google Docs or uh, you know files before, you'll know what I'm talking about. And when you go here, you'll see it's already there. Now the key thing is, as you can see from the, t the, the icon here, that is a Google Doc icon. That's telling you that it is a Google Drive, Google Doc. Uh, file. The reason why this is important is when you actually share something on here as an assignment. Uh, if you want students to be able to be, in, you know, to to type directly into it, you're going to give them a copy each, and this will make sense if you've watched a previous video, uh, and you want them to write or type their answers into it and then interact with that assignment rather than printing it off and have tons of paper, you know, and, and hand them out. Not only is that more hassle, but this way you're saving the planet a little bit as well. You can do your bit there, and not only that. I, I always say this to anyone I teach, uh, so you teach with or colleagues, that you know at the end of the day I take one laptop home, which I take most nights anyway. I don't need to carry so many books or pieces of paper, so my life is a little bit easier as a result as well. So it's very important that you have uh, a Google Doc icon there because that's the format you need. So what if you have a bunch of uh, worksheets that you already have, you want to use? But it's a word document. So let me sh let me show you an example. So if I go to my, this is me winging it right now. I haven't really done much planning. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find a worksheet, um, a word document. So let's see if I can find 
a random work document um, how is this student sheet let's let me open this one here let me just see if this is a worksheet like uh, document now as you can tell from the icon that's a word file and in fact it says Microsoft Word right there so yeah perfect this is an actual worksheet so typically most of us may actually have something like this so you might say okay but Mr Ali how do I get that word document into here and make sure it's the format that I need it to be so that I can work it on Google Classroom and send it out so that students can actually get a copy each and work on it well it's dead easy simplest way you have it open not here I mean take that off so as you can see this worksheets there I will go back here there it is I will simply drag and go to that page and until I see the word copy show up here as you can see I won't let go and once it is you press let you, you let go of the mouse and then you'll see it's uploading and you'll see it pops up here somewhere there it is now notice how the icon is different it's got the the letter W in it now that should tell you this is not a Google Doc file not yet anyway this is still a word document that's been transferred over so you just have an online copy you then double click it it opens up here and you can see right now you see you can you can't really go in and type into it it's just it's almost like a PDF so you go up here at the top and you choose Google Docs now the moment you do that it opens it up separately here and it should if I press escape it should make a second version here hopefully hopefully let me see if that's uh, loading up so obviously depending on how big the file is uh, will dictate how long it takes that process itself um, now the only issue I have to highlight here boys uh, ladies and gents sorry so used to saying boys and girls I do apologize is um some of the features might not look the same in fact it's st they've already they've started it so some word features cannot uh, be displayed in Google Docs and will be lost if we make changes and it says doc there as well so if you go to um this here I've never used it before okay that's fine um, let me just have a look through so it's best to check everything make sure you're happy with it and if it looks fine then you got nothing to worry about and you can see there's an exam style question there some questions here and you can see that they, there is there space for them to write yes there is so you can just leave it as it is um, I would never have these dots this is great if you print it off but because we're not printing it off they don't need that let me show you what I mean so if they start typing here uh, these are saved as doc X okay let's press OK okay saving now good now if I just imagine I'm the student they open this up this is what they see they type okay and you can see that the line just move forward and the font isn't correct either so always good to test things out before you use them so this is what I do I get rid of the dots so I don't need them that's fine so I'm just gonna do a couple for now just so you get the point and the font I'm gonna keep all the same so I'm gonna go here Control and A is an easy way of selecting it all. I'm going to go up here and choose Arial. I just it's one of my favorite ones to use. And then I'm going to change the font size to the 12. Keep it simple. So it's all uniform, all consistent. Now when people answer, you'll see the answer just pops up. Okay? Very easy. And that's that. Now, worth double checking everything make sure you're happy with it now if you want to make the uh, font of some some stuff uh, larger like the title then you can do it's not the end of the world you know you just go through and you know, just make sure you change it to whatever you want it to be okay there you go now once that's done I'm just going to double check that it's actually come through now it, it hasn't so what I need to do is come here now sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't can you see I've got the W version of healthy active lifestyles here it hasn't come through so I'm gonna come up here instead go to file and I'm gonna say make uh, sorry save as a Google Docs and again this can take some time depending on how big the file is you can see it's working it's still thinking okay now this might be an internet issue but I'm gonna give it another go Hopefully it works. I'm just gonna go back here and see if it's here. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's not worked. Okay, so let's do another thing. There is another way. So I'm gonna go back here. 
and I'm gonna let's see I think it might be make a copy so let's do that make a copy it says in the folder yes that's correct I'm gonna delete this part here and press OK now as long as it opens up here it should be okay yep it's opening now while it's doing that and it's still deciding how to show me the page I'm gonna go back over here and you'll see there's a copy of it here now okay so now you have the original one and you got a copy of it now the copy is the one that we're going to use uh, if I can find it oh wait wait I just realized it still says W there so we do need to change it so let me just double check I'm going to try to save the Google Docs again. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is the one I'm going to use now. I don't know why it didn't work the first time around, but this is the thing with IT. Some things work smoothly, some things don't. So don't panic. Just give it a go until you have the, the correct version. Now, I know this seems like a lot of faffing around. Like you, you'll be saying to yourself, well, I could have just photocopied it and sent it out. That's fine. You can do that. But once you do it, the you know, once it's done, it's saved and that's it, it's done. So the next time I want to use it, it's there in my folder. I can just click a button and it's sent through. So it's all down to you know whether you feel the benefit of doing a little bit of legwork at the beginning and then you're set for months, even years later. So you can see the difference here. The, the format from the original one here, docx, has disappeared. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and I'm going to put uh, final version, just so you can see what I mean here. And at the moment, you know, I don't want you to get confused. You might be thinking, wait a minute, you've got the first one, you've got the copy, and then you've got this final version. Now, if I go here, you'll see that the final version is right there. Okay? That's the one we're going to use. And look at the icon. That's what we're looking for. So to make things a lot more easy, I'm going to delete, cross these all off so we don't get confused. Go back over here. And I don't need the copy. So I'm going to right-click and delete or remove let me see what there it is remove done it's gone and i don't need this word document so right click and remove and then you have the final version and the reason why this is so uh so important is if you remember in the previous video if i go to classwork and go to create an assignment i want to be able to have my students uh, have access and then add their answers directly into this task. Now this could be a nice little workbook. Now the reason why it's taken so long as well is because it is a large file. There's three or four pages. So this is a nice little workbook that you can say that's two hours worth of work. And again, it remembers my recent document. So you can go in there, press add, and it throws it in there. And remember, you must click make a copy for each student. And you fill the rest of the items with the instructions as you would do, choose a class and then assign. It's as simple as that. Okay? I hope that makes sense.